Hi, I'm Adam from Safe Central. In this video, I'm going to explain a little bit about the penalty lockout timer function that most major brands of electronic safe locks will have. Here I have a Techno Securetza Pulse electronic safe lock, a Lagarde Basic electronic safe lock, and a Ross 1000 series electronic safe lock. All three have minor differences in the way they perform these functions, but they all have something to the same degree where they'll lock you out for a period of time if the incorrect code is entered in too many times. So just to demonstrate, I've already entered three incorrect codes into each safe lock so we can see what happens after the fourth one. We'll start with the Ross 1000 series lock and I'll just enter in the fourth incorrect sequence. So it'll give us the incorrect beep. The, key, the keypad will actually go dead. It won't allow you to press anything and every five seconds we'll get a red light and an audible sound to indicate it's in the lockout penalty timer. So next we'll demonstrate the Lagarde basic electronic safe lock. We'll enter an incorrect code in here as well. It'll give us a triple beep to say it was incorrect. The keypad is now dead as well. And every 10 or 15 seconds, we get a little red light flashing just to indicate it's in the penalty lockout timer. So the last one is the Techno Securetza Pulse Lock. Uh, we'll enter a fourth incorrect code here to demonstrate. We get the long beep to indicate that it was wrong. The difference with this model is it will actually allow us to continue pressing numbers and it will give us the long beep each time. And that's going to extend the four minute lockout window that this model has every time we press a button. So if someone was to continue pressing it repeatedly, they would get locked out for an indefinite period of time. So now that the five minutes have passed, each lock will actually allow us to have two more attempts at the code before going back into the penalty lockout timer. If we just enter the correct code, The lock will just unlock as normal and it will be as if it never went into the penalty lockout timer. And that's the same on the Lagarde lock and the same on the Techno Securetza Pulse lock as well. So there are two other important points to note in relation to the way that your batteries can affect this penalty lockout timer. One of them is that if you remove the battery while it's in the lockout period, it'll pause counting and it's not until you apply power again that it will continue counting down the four or five minute timer. So just make sure that you leave the battery in at all times. And the other thing too is if you have a low or a battery that's not functioning properly, it can confuse the voltage and even when you're putting in a correct code, it can put you into the penalty lockout timer by thinking you're not entering the correct code. So the solution is to make sure that you always have a good quality functioning battery installed during this timer, wait five minutes and then you can have another attempt at it. So there you have it, that's an explanation of the penalty lockout timer on three of the different common locks we find in Australia. For more information on this and other safe related content, visit our YouTube channel, like and subscribe, or visit safecentral.net.au.